a big shopping centre. Now, again, in England you'd have to wear a mask. The whole of the UK you've got to wear a mask. There'd be security out here telling you what you can and you can't do. You've got to walk this way, you've got to walk this way. Um, here we've got the bookstore. Have a quick look in the bookstore. It's a nice quiet bookstore so I'm going to keep my voice down. Um, there's a bit of stuff here on the floor. The industrial tape saying, I don't know, keep your distance or something, but it's all very sensible. You don't have to wear a mask or anything. Um, there's people out here enjoying looking at the books and what have you. Families out, bookworms out and about looking for books, no masks. Jack Jones, got that store in the UK. Again, you don't need a mask here in the shopping centre. It's busy, it's a busy shopping centre. Um, we've got a coffee house here. Again, people just getting their coffee. Uh, ice cream here. You buy an ice cream, you don't need a mask. Barbers, haircuts, possibly makeup as well. Now this is the kind of small business that would be really suffering in England now. They'd be operating under very strict conditions if they're allowed to operate at all. I know the, the hairdressers in England are all wearing masks. Uh, here in Sweden, as you can see, people get in their haircuts and what have you done. Having a nice little shave there. No worries. Nobody's wearing... Um, masks or anything or uh, shields or visors you know it's not as though they're going to be working on a sheet metal blast furnace or anything they're just doing a haircut okay so we've got a woman's uh, clothes store here middle-aged women doing what they enjoy doing knocking about uh, looking at clothes enjoying themselves not wearing masks, they're completely cool. I presume they can try stuff on, we'll check that out later. Victoria's Secret over here. I'm not a regular in here by any means, but uh, popular with the ladies. They're all knocking about, as per the old normal, um, enjoying themselves. There's no special precautions here. Uh, you can buy, I don't know, Perfumes, they've even got here, they've got the uh, the testers here. Right here you can use the testers by the look of it. That's absolutely forbidden in England if you if you want to use a tester. That nice little um, privilege that you used to have, you can't do that in England now. The testers here, you can use them, it's no problem. Uh, the staff are all very cool. Hello, hi. Oh, it's okay, thank you. Staff are friendly, staff aren't working, wearing masks or anything. Um, it's a nice place, you know. If I was female, I wanted to look at some nice bags or some perfume, I would come here. It's the old normal, that's what we want. Um, I haven't been shopping in England back in the UK for about five months because who wants to go somewhere where you are told where to go and where to stand and you can't do this and you can't do that and there's bouncers on the door, the security following you around, your fellow customers are treating you badly as though you're infected with the plague. It's not very nice. So. Um, I'm in H&M, just walk in, you know, like the old normal and, you know, have a look at a shirt, have a look at what I want to have a look, so let's have a look. It is the old normal here. It is cool, it is great, it is fantastic. I'm just picking up random stuff, hats for some reason. I quite fancy a hat, but I can never find one that suits. Hats, you can try them on in the mirror. Um, I've got a shirt here. I could do a replacement shirt. I've been looking for one for a while, this will do. I want to try it on though first. Um, I'm going to head over, see if I can try it on as per the old normal. Okay, so I think this is the changing rooms here. We'll find out, I guess. Hello. Hey. Hi. Uh, can I check? Yeah. Changing room, yeah. Okay, thank you. So the changing rooms in Sweden are open. Um, I've tried on the shirt. Um, I don't much like it to be honest, it doesn't suit, so I'm just going to hand it back like we have always done in the old normal. I don't want to buy something I don't like. 
in England now, I would have to, you know, I would have had to have taken this home, tried it on at home, known instantly I didn't like it, and then hiked all the way back to the store, gone through all the BS, the refund, the um, notices, the um, unpleasant experience, just to get a refund, it's a pain in the arse. Here, no problem, walk into the changing room, try it on, hand it back. Shirt is back on the rail there with the staff. They're not gonna quarantine it or anything like that for the next two centuries or any nonsense. Um, it is the old normal, it is cool. I've really got nothing further to say about that except it's a very pleasant shopping experience here. Completely unlike it is in the UK. People of all ages around here, all age ranges. Some people, we just went past a guy, uh, I think it was a guy who um, was using a, um, as you can see, I don't know what you call it, a Zimmer frame, a wheelchair kind of thing. Not wearing a mask. Doesn't seem to be worried about coronavirus or what have you. Okay. Full disclosure, on the left-hand side, there is a guy wearing a mask there. Just see him walking down, he's he's wearing a mask. Okay, quite a young chap. Got literally more chance of dying from a lightning strike from what the evidence shows, but, you know, if he wants to wear a mask, that's cool. You wear what you want to do. We just don't, I don't want to be forced to wear a mask by the government. Now, when infections and when deaths were at their peak, you didn't need to wear a mask in an English supermarket. Now that it's all over and the virus has uh, dissipated and mutated into something which pretty much uh, is killing very few people now, you've got to wear a mask and it makes no sense. Um, should we head down into the supermarket and have a quick look? Okay, so we're in an English supermarket now. You've got Robocop outside, you've got bouncers, you've got aggressive security staff who are telling you what you can, you can't do. You can't come in here unless you've got a, a mask on. Uh, you do as you're damn well told. Don't speak back to me, otherwise we'll have the police here, so on and so forth. Um, you've got the general public absolutely freaking the hell out. If anybody gets near them, um, you've got staff here who are um, not wearing masks. You've got staff over here on the fresh counter. I don't know what he is. Is he a butcher or is he selling just general stuff? Let's go and have a quick look. He's wiping down his surfaces, he's keeping it clean, we'd expect nothing less, he's serving food, but he's not wearing a mask. Uh, there is stuff on the floor here saying, um, again, just, just mind your distance by the looks of it, but that's it. Okay, so the, the supermarket tills here, um, I've got little plastic shields, and that is the extent of it. Okay, so we're going into the department store here, like many department stores, it's got the um, makeup section, the perfume section at the front of the store. Perfume staff, the beauty assistants, they're all knocking about, they're all looking for customers. Like I say, it's Monday morning, so this is not prime time, but there's people here um, to help and assist you if, you if you want it. People here looking at necklaces and stuff and picking stuff up. These are... Uh, a lady who's um, likely say getting older, no mask. Um, you can freely look at all of the items on sale here, pick stuff up as you please. So this is very much like a, a British department store. This reminds me a lot of somewhere like Debenhams or some, somewhere like that. Um, like I say, Debenhams is on the, the verge of going out of business with 15,000 people who've worked there for a long time losing their jobs. That's not good. That's not good for anyone. Hell of a lot of taxes are 
not going to be paid if that business goes out of business. To be honest, I'm more concerned about the workers, the ordinary people. You know, they don't get paid a fortune. Like I say, a lot of them have worked there for a long time. They love their jobs. The body shop over here, a little franchise. Now the body shop, an English business. In England, of course, you'd be forced to wear a mask if you went into the body shop. In the body shop in Sweden, you don't have to wear a mask. So yeah, if you're a body shop fan, come to Sweden. Okay, so we've got uh, young ladies here. They're trying on the testers of the, the makeup, the lipstick and what have you. They're enjoying themselves on a Monday morning. Nobody's telling them off. Nobody's telling them they're going to die. They're not wearing masks. It's like I've gone into some heavenly alternative universe where things are just normal and nice. Women knocking about, looking at clothes, looking at makeup, being happy, doing stuff that uh, they enjoy doing. And in the UK, many parts of America, of course, we're not allowed to. Okay, we're in the restaurant here of the department store. It's doing a, uh, a good trade here on a Monday morning. It's kind of brunch time, I guess, now. Um, there's a big queue here. There's no marshals here. There's nobody telling you what to do. You pick up your own tray. People have got trays here. There's some nice cake down here by the looks of it that you can just take. Um, life as normal. People got smiles on their faces. Monday morning, Gothenburg. This is the main market hall here. Salju Hall or Salhal or something like that. I do apologize for my useless English pronunciation. I'm English, I can't speak any other languages. We are like that, unfortunately. Uh, this is the main market hall. People outside having a drink, having a coffee, having... Looks as though some of them are on the booze already. It's only about 11 o'clock. I like these people. There's um, a gentleman outside. There's no restrictions here. You can just uh, walk in. Goes without saying you don't need to wear a mask. None of the staff are wearing a mask here at all. We've got the butchers here. We have got the, uh, the cheese guy. Some great cheeses here. People out shopping. Over here we have got, um, I don't know, all sorts of goodies here. Some really nice stuff here. Place here, get your sandwiches done here, get your olives, get your tomatoes, get all your fresh stuff. People here having a... Uh, I was going to say they're having a coffee, but it doesn't look as though they are. They all seem to be on the booze here. Is this normal? So here we've got more, more fresh stuff. All very healthy, all very nice here. Okay, we've got a coffee shop here by the looks of it. Again, nobody wearing a mask. Another tea and coffee place here. Hi. Great shop here, this looks really nice. Um, Let's have a look down here. Again, more fresh foods down here. Hi, hi. None of the customers wearing a mask. Uh, nobody, none of the staff wearing a mask. Everybody just getting on with their lives. Uh, this is like a fresh food, I don't know, jacket potato, sandwiches kind of place. Over here, geese are doing the same kind of thing, making sandwiches. Guys here getting some brunch by the looks of it. Guys here, the butchers making uh, the meat. Guy having some soup here. It's a really nice market hall here. People uh, relax, people eating, buying, keeping the economy going, 